This video is sponsored by Free Dawkins Steph Curry 2022 Finals MVP Apparel. Get now on 10% discount. Use promo code DOC. Link in description. Patrick Baldwin Jr. is impressing Warrior staffers already, even as he fully recovers from an ankle injury. I've been shocked by what I've seen in an exciting way, a Warrior staffer said to CJ Holmes of the San Francisco Chronicle. Another staffer told Holmes that Baldwin is an exciting prospect. There is a couple of reasons why some Warrior staffers are excited and impressed with Baldwin, whom Golden State drafted number 28 overall in the 2022 NBA draft, his high basketball IQ and how he has performed in individual practices. Despite a long way to go to be where Golden State wants him, the Warriors feel Baldwin can blossom into a special player within coach Steve Kerr's system. Considering his journey to the NBA started when he was four years old, it should be no surprise that Baldwin has exhibited a high IQ and feel for the game. The staffers also noted how confident and professional Baldwin has been throughout the process. Baldwin always saw himself as a future NBA player. Since he was a four-year-old, when he had his first basketball workout, the groundwork was set for Baldwin's future. My first memory of basketball is definitely, I think I was four years old, so my dad was coaching at Loyola Chicago at the time. Um, and there was this old gym that I think is knocked down now, but it was my first like workout, I guess, with my father. <laughs> So I go to the gym, I'm doing ball handling drills, I'm doing my shooting drills. Um, and then he has the VHS tape, I guess he's recording me. Um, so like my first workout was probably my favorite basketball memory that I remember. And then my first bucket conjointly happened about two weeks after that. He couldn't get away from the game, nor did he ever want to, whether it was playing basketball, watching basketball or studying basketball. To his parents, the groundwork likely was laid down even before then. Baldwin's father, Patrick Baldwin Sr played four seasons of basketball at Northwestern where he averaged 12.4 points per game and was a defensive standout. The elder Baldwin was named the Big Ten's Defensive Player of the Year as a senior in 1994 and still is the school's all-time steals leader with 272. While at Northwestern, Baldwin met his future wife, Shauna, who played on the women's volleyball team. Gyms and arenas became a second home to the Warriors rookie from day one. He credits his father for his advanced basketball IQ at only 19 years old and for opening so many doors for him through the game. His first picture on Instagram is him meeting Kareem at 16 years old. His second is in honor of Gigi and Kobe Bryant, his idol as a kid, including high school highlights of him wearing number 24 and pulling off Kobe's signature fadeaway jumper in his younger days. Baldwin's draft stock is tied to his high school prospects. He was a consensus top 10 recruit in the 2021 class. He flashed excellent shot-making ability as a 6 feet 10 player with a 7 foot 2 wingspan. Despite his ugly shooting numbers, Baldwin has a pretty stroke and many scouts believe it will translate well to the NBA, especially as he gets more open looks. While not an explosive athlete, Baldwin has the potential to be an elite-level outside shooter at 6 feet 10 with a projectable frame. That should be scary for the rest of the NBA, especially with a couple years of seasoning to make up for a disjointed last few years of development. It wouldn't be surprising to look back on this pick in a couple of years as the steal of the draft similar to how we felt throughout these NBA playoffs watching Jordan Poole blossom into an essential piece. Baldwin believes he can be one of the better 6 feet 10 plus shooters in the world. He has shown the ability to shoot off movement, whether he's running around screens near the baseline, relocating behind the arc, finding an open shot as a trailer on the break, or being utilized in pick and pops. He has a solid mid-range scoring package, where he can leverage his size to get smaller defenders on his back and shoot over the top of them. He believes he's a quick processor and smart passer who can consistently move the ball to the open man. What really intrigues about Baldwin's fit with the Warriors is just how many clean looks he'll get as defenses pay full attention to Steph Curry. And if those shots go down like his history prep career suggests, Baldwin will be yet another five-alarm shooting fire for Steve Kerr to deploy offensively. Between the past few years, Baldwin has learned more about himself than ever. From his fall from the top as a prospect to tumbling down the draft, Baldwin believes he has only become stronger. Now, he has a new skill, one that winners need in the association. He can handle adversity. I think I just handle adversity extremely well. Um, you know, you've seen a, a couple of guys that were in my position that, you know, maybe could have been in that position that could have gone down a deep, dark rabbit hole. Um, but I think I had great people in my corner, uh, great coaches to talk to. I mean, my pops was a coach for me last year, so I had him in my corner all year. And I mean, I think I've just done a great job of rebounding from that season. Baldwin is the exact kind of prospect a team like the Warriors should take at the end of the first round. Many argued they should opt for an older player who was more likely to contribute right away. The truth is, it's going to be hard to crack Golden State's rotation no matter what. The Warriors' latest top pick has the natural talent of an NBA player. He has the size at over 6 foot 9 and 230 pounds. He has the basketball background, smarts and passion that teams crave. 
Long before the draft, his occupation was Hooper. Off the court, Baldwin enjoys biking and fiddling around with tech. Those two hobbies will come in handy for the Bay Area's newest resident. Really, it's basketball, Baldwin said when asked what his favorite off-court hobby is. It really is basketball. Okay. I mean, it's been basketball, but um, so as long as I'm playing basketball, watching basketball, I'm happy. But there's, uh, I mean, I like to ride bikes and I like to, you know, fit around with tech and do some stuff with computers. So, I mean, there's definitely a mixed bag of tricks of what I like to do, but if it's basketball and I'm watching film, like that's, that's where I'm at my happiest. The Warriors view the selection of Baldwin from an upside standpoint and are banking he can develop into the prospect many thought he could be in high school. His exact role next season is to be determined, but it is reasonable to believe the team will bring him along slowly. As the defending champs, the Warriors may not need Baldwin to step in immediately, which will give him the chance to develop at his own pace. However, if the team can tap into his potential, his addition could pay off in a major way down the line. Tell us in the comments, how good do you think Baldwin can be? If you like this video, share, subscribe and hit the like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels. Vintage Dawkins and Squad Dawkins and follow us on social media.